So it's time to summarize challenge number three. Once again, you finished building the flow and asked Sherry to try things out in the full copy sandbox. Because you were so thorough in your personal debugging and testing process, Sherry finds that everything works exactly as expected. She asks when we can turn this on for the rest of her team, and you let her know that you can deploy it today. She's excited because she knows that this automation will save her team time and it's going to improve the quality of the team's case data. She thanks you for your help and mentions how much she appreciates the speed of the solutions you built for her team. So great work, uh, good job building everything. You've delighted another person at Universal Containers. Let's go through a quick uh, recap of what we did in this challenge. So we started out with the pre-work by creating an account roles pick list on the contact object, and then we created some sample data. We built a flow that will find the primary contact and then update new cases that are created with that primary contact. We did some debugging and we built up a backup functionality in case there was no primary contact at all. So we were kind of pr proactive in thinking about the four different uh, test scenarios. And um, you know that's always best practice is to do at least positive and negative testing. And uh, we did, and then we fixed uh, some errors that we found. And uh, one final note on this challenge, as with everything on the Salesforce platform, there's always many ways to solve um, a particular need. So in this case, it doesn't have to be built with a flow. We certainly could have built it with a validation rule or a lookup builder. Uh, this challenge, or I guess many of the scenarios in this course are meant to help build your flow knowledge. So uh, the takeaway from that is um, just try to delight your end users as much as possible. Sometimes building a validation rule uh, is the simple solution, uh, but it may not delight your end users as much. And sometimes it will. So you'll just have to work um, with whoever your business users are, understand the context and the need that they're looking to solve, and then just make the best decision that you can for them at that time. So great work, and we'll continue in the next challenge.